Have you ever heard of a tiny organism that can solve mazes, create complex transportation systems, and even store and transfer information? Well, brace yourself for an awe-inspiring journey. As we explore the world of this yellow slime mold, and find the missing side of the incredible intelligence of this seemingly simple life form. So, stay tuned as we dive deep into the fascinating world of slime mold, and explore whether this tiny organism could hold the secret to unlocking the mysteries of intelligence. Before starting the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the missing side, and don't miss to turn on the notification bell as well. How was this slime mold discovered? Slime mold, including the Fasarum polycephalum, which we're discussing today, has been around for millions of years. They were first observed in the late 1800s by a German biologist, Heinrich Anton de Berry, who noticed certain fungi with unique characteristics. Regardless, it wasn't until the early 20th century that the Fasarum polycephalum was officially discovered by an American scientist named William H. Sealand. While studying fungi, Sealand found this unusual organism capable of moving independently unlike other fungi. Over time, other scientists became interested in slime molds and studied their behavior and abilities. In the 1960s and 70s, scientists focused more on slime molds, leading to a better understanding of their unique properties. Today, the Fasarum polycephalum is widely studied, and even ordinary people can participate in citizen science projects focused on this fascinating organism. What are slime molds made of? Slime molds are peculiar organisms that are neither plants nor animals or fungi. They belong to a group of organisms, known as protists, unicellular or multicellular organisms, that do not fit into any other major groups. But in the case of these yellow-looking slime molds, they are made up of single cells that can merge to form a larger organism. These cells contain all the typical components of a eukaryotic cell, including a nucleus, mitochondria, and other organelles. The cell walls of these slime molds are made of cellulose, the same material that makes up the cell walls of plants. However, how these slime molds use cellulose is quite different. Unlike plants, these slime molds do not use cellulose to provide structure to their bodies. Instead, they use it to form a protective layer around themselves. Overall, these slime molds are fascinating organisms composed of unique and complex structures. Understanding their makeup is essential to understanding their function and remarkable abilities. How do these slime molds work? These slime molds have a unique way of working that sets them apart from other organisms. At first glimpse, they may appear to be a simple blob of goo, but they have a complex network of filaments that they use to move, find food, and even solve problems. When these slime molds are hungry, they stretch out their filaments in search of food, and once they find it, they engulf it with their body. But how do they decide which direction to move in? Well, these slime molds use a type of chemical signaling called cyclic AMP waves to communicate with each other and coordinate their movements. Interestingly, these slime molds can also solve mazes and find the shortest route to their food source. Scientists have observed that these slime molds can create a network of filaments that resembles a map of the maze, and then use this map to find the most efficient pathway to the food. This ability has inspired researchers to use these slime molds to help design more efficient transportation systems. The way these slime molds work is a fascinating example of how even seemingly simple organisms can have complex and sophisticated behaviors. What do scientists say about this slime mold? These slime molds have fascinated scientists for years, and many have made interesting observations about these unique organisms. For instance, biologist John Bonner said, these slime molds are capable of surprising behavior that seems to challenge our understanding of what it means to be an organism. Another scientist, Audrey Dussatur, 
has called these slime molds the embodiment of complexity and adaptability, citing their ability to make decisions and solve problems without a brain. Computer scientist Jeff Jones has studied how these slime molds can mimic computer algorithms, saying, they're more than just a curiosity, we can learn a lot from these slime molds about how to solve complex problems in the real world. Overall, scientists agree that these slime molds are fascinating organisms that challenge our traditional understanding of what it means to be alive. They are capable of complex behaviors and decision-making, even without a conventional nervous system, and their unique abilities have led to many exciting discoveries in various fields. How can it solve mazes and find a way to the food? These slime molds can navigate their environment and find food sources, even in complex mazes. This is due to their unique problem-solving abilities, which have impressed scientists worldwide. When a slime mold is placed in a maze, it will begin to explore the different paths available. As it moves, it leaves behind a trail of slime that acts as a marker for areas it has already examined. Once it reaches a dead end or a path that leads to a food source, the slime mold will retrace its steps and try another way. What's remarkable is that these slime molds can adapt and change their behavior based on their environment. For example, if they encounter a shorter path to a food source, they will abandon their original path and take the shorter one instead. This ability to learn and adjust their behavior is one of the reasons why scientists find these slime molds so fascinating. Scientists have even compared these slime molds to computers due to their ability to solve complex problems using a decentralized network of neurons. According to Andrew Adamatsky, a researcher at the University of the West of England, these slime molds can process information and make decisions without a central nervous system, just like a computer. This has led to numerous studies on how these slime molds can be used to solve real-world problems, such as optimizing transportation networks and designing efficient computer algorithms. How can it form a complex railway system maps and highway system of the city? The ability of these slime molds to form intricate and efficient networks is truly remarkable. Researchers have found that these slime molds can create maps that resemble the infrastructure of major cities, such as Tokyo and Washington, D.C. These slime molds use a process known as self-organization, where individual cells communicate with each other to form a collective behavior. When placed in an environment with food sources, the slime mold sends out tendrils to explore its surroundings. As these tendrils come into contact with each other, they fuse together, creating a network that connects all the food sources. The resulting pattern closely resembles the structure of a transportation network with main roots and smaller branches. This remarkable ability of these slime molds to create efficient and complex networks has captured the attention of scientists and engineers who are exploring ways to apply this process to solve real-world problems. How can it remind the data and transfer it to another slime? One of the most fascinating abilities of these slime molds is their ability to transfer knowledge and memories to other slime molds. This was first discovered by Toshiyuki Nakagaki, a Japanese scientist who noticed that these slime molds could learn from their experiences. When a slime mold encounters a new environment, it will start exploring and leave behind a slime trail. If it finds food, it will reinforce the path and move more quickly toward the food. If it encounters a dead end or an area with no food, it will retract its trail and try a different path. What's remarkable is that if another slime mold is introduced to the same environment, it will often follow the same path the first slime mold took, even though it has never been there before. This suggests that using chemical signaling, the first slime mold could transfer its knowledge and experience to the second slime mold. This phenomenon has important implications for studying learning and memory, and could even lead to the development of new technologies based on slime mold behavior. What benefits can we get from this slime mold in the future? These slime molds have already shown great potential in various fields, 
such as biotechnology, engineering, and computer science. We could potentially use the slime mold's unique abilities to solve complex problems, create more efficient transportation systems, and even design better computer algorithms. For example, researchers are exploring the possibility of using these slime molds to create biodegradable materials and develop new drugs. The slime mold's ability to form complex networks and find optimal routes could also help improve transportation infrastructure and reduce congestion. Additionally, studying slime molds could lead to new insights into collective behavior and intelligence, which could have implications for fields such as robotics and artificial intelligence. Now let's find the answer to the main question, is this slime mold smarter than us? While these slime molds are certainly remarkable organisms with unique abilities, they cannot be considered smarter than humans. The human brain is incredibly complex and capable of advanced reasoning, problem solving, creativity, and self-awareness. While these slime molds rely on instinctual behaviors and responses to their environment. However, the study of slime molds has the potential to inspire new technologies and solutions to complex problems, as their ability to find optimal routes and make decentralized decisions efficiently could be applied to fields such as transportation and logistics. So that's it for today. We hope you found it as fascinating as we did. Share your thoughts about today's topic in the comments section below. Until next time, stay safe, and keep exploring the missing side of the natural mysteries.